Grand Prismatic Spring in Yellowstone National Park. First discovered in the early 1800s amidst the geysers and sulfurous bubblings of Yellowstone National Park, the record-setting natural wonder has been stunning visitors for over a century. The pool is a piercing blue surrounded by rings of color ranging from red to green. The otherworldly effect is caused by varieties of pigmented bacteria and microbes that thrive in the warm, mineral-abundant water surrounding the hot spring. Changing along with the seasons the colors fade and grow more deep depending on what type of bacteria is thriving in the weather at the time. The center of the pool, where the water boils up from underground is so hot that the water is actually sterile. This produces a shockingly clear and bold blue color that the spring maintains year-round. The Grand Prismatic Spring is one of America's more beautiful sights to look at, just don't touch as the boiling heat could likely melt skin from bone, mixing blood red into the deep blue. Kilauea a Volcano and Thurston Lava Tube at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park Kilauea, also called Mount Kilauea, the world's most active volcanic mass, located on the southeastern part of the island of Hawaii, Hawaii State, U.S. The central feature of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Kilauea, much spreading in Hawaiian is an elongated dome built of lava eruptions from a central crater and from lines of craters extending along east and southwest rifts, or fissures. The volcano's 4,090-foot, 1,250-meter, summit has collapsed to form a caldera, a broad shallow depression nearly 3 miles, 5 kilometers, long and 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers, wide with an area of more than 4 square miles. 10 square kilometers. Kilauea slopes merge with those of the nearby volcano Mauna Loa on the west and north, Portland Headlight and Cape Elizabeth, Maine. Portland Headlight is a historic lighthouse in Cape Elizabeth, Maine. The light station sits on the head of land at the entrance of the primary shipping channel into Portland Harbor, which is within Casco Bay in the Gulf of Maine. Completed in 1791. It is the oldest lighthouse in the state of Maine. The light station is automated, and the tower, beacon, and foghorn are maintained by the United States Coast Guard, while the former lighthouse keeper's house is a maritime museum within Fort Williams Park. Construction began in 1787 at the directive of George Washington and was completed on January 10, 1791, using a fund of $1,500, established by him. Whale oil lamps were originally used for illumination. In 1855, following formation of the lighthouse port, a fourth-order Fresnel lens was installed, that lens was replaced by a second-order Fresnel lens, which was replaced later by an Rubiakon in 1958. Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Explore Colorado Springs Paradise in one magical stop. Garden of the Gods Park is a registered national natural landmark. Imagine dramatic views, 300 towering sandstone rock formations against a backdrop of snow-capped Pikes Peak and brilliant blue skies. This world-class visitor and nature center and museum is the most visited attraction in the region with all new interactive exhibits. The park's famous red rocks formed millions of years ago due to upheavals in the Earth's surface and erosion. The rocks are conglomerates of red, pink, and white sandstones and limestone. You can travel back in time to learn more about the history of these rock formations by watching an entertaining 15-minute film during your visit to the Garden of the Gods Visitor Center. The first European explorers referred to this site as Red Rock Corral. Then, in 1859 a new group of surveyors explored the site and one gentleman remarked that the area would be a great location for a beer garden. 
His companion retorted that this place of incredible beauty was suited for more than just a beer garden, that it was a place fit for gods to assemble. And that's how Garden of the Gods got its name. Gila Cliff Dwellings in Catron, New Mexico For thousands of years, groups of nomadic people used the caves of the Gila River as temporary shelter. In the late 1200s, people of the Mogollon culture decided it would be a good place to call home. They built rooms, crafted pottery and raised children in the cliff dwellings for about 20 years. Then the Mogollon moved on, leaving the walls for us as a glimpse into the past. Palouse Falls in Franklin, Whitman County's Washington. Meet, Palouse Falls, the official state waterfall of Washington. Located on the Palouse River between Franklin and Whitman counties inside a state park of the same name, Palouse Falls boasts an impressive 200-foot drop, spilling nearly 1,000 cubic feet of water per second over the edge. Carved by the famed Missoula flood almost 13,000 years ago, Palouse Falls is one of the few waterfalls created by the flood to still be flowing. Windsor Ruins in Claiborne County, Mississippi Windsor was situated on a 2,600-acre plantation, the home of a planter with the unlikely name of Smith Coffee Daniel, too. The four-story mansion featured massive columns with iron Corinthian capitals, ornate wrought iron balustrades, and a rooftop cupola. Construction took over two years to complete at a then handsome sum of $175,000. Unfortunately, Danny lived only a few weeks after the house was completed in 1861, and ownership passed to his heirs. During the Civil War, both Confederate and Union troops used the cupola as an observation post, and the house served as a Union hospital following the 1863 Battle of Port Gibson. After the war Mark Twain also used the cupola to observe the nearby Mississippi River, and his description of Windsor appears in his memoir Life on the Mississippi. Painted Hills in Wheeler County, Oregon When you travel to the Painted Hills, you can see millions of years of history revealed in the layers of mountains of Earth, one color at a time. The hills get their name from the delicately colored stratifications in the soil and the yellows, golds, blacks and reds of the painted hills are best seen in the late afternoon. Tones and hue may appear to change from one visit to another, as the clay stones differ with ever-changing light and moisture levels. Once you see them for yourself, it's pretty easy to understand why the painted hills are one of the seven wonders of Oregon.